Hello. Hi, Tyler. How are you? Yes. How are you? Come on in. I'm so oh, happy to see thank you. Thank you so much for having me. My name is Lonnie Love. Tyler Henry may recognize me from Chelsea Lately. I'm a comedian. I also have a talk show called The Real. So happy you're here. Oh, thank you for having me. Come on in. Awesome. When the door opened, I didn't recognize who answered it, but I felt like giving her a hug. <laughs> she just had such an immediately warm and inviting energy, so I went for it. Sit right down here. All right, sounds good. I'm really excited to get a reading from Tyler. You know, there have been a couple of things that's happening as far as with my family, but mostly in the love life. I'm nosy. I, I want to find out. I'm excited that you are here. <sighs> Um, I've heard so much about you. Oh, great. But um, you look so young. Oh, I know. I'm only 19. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you can help me. Absolutely. That's no why I asked you to come here. Great. So, I'm glad to uh -oh. be here. Awesome. I think that people do have that ability, and I never want to take that away from them. But every time I see a psychic, they tell me I have bad luck. <laughs> it might have been the price, because it's like they $5. Maybe if I get a more expensive psychic, it'd be different. Are you sensing anything in the love section, the love life? The love section. Uh, right. Do you see Idris Elba anywhere? <laughs> I see Denzel. Oh my God! Really? I did. It's coming through. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we'll try to find our Denzel. We'll, okay. we'll look. We'll, okay. we'll establish. We'll see what comes through. <laughs> no worries. Oh gosh. Okay. So, um, yeah. Let's look at, at love life. Well, I'm referencing to. So, I, I will have to make sure what's past, what's present, like what's future. I do have to. Re what would this be? James. 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 Oh, that's the past, James. James I can James, tell James, you right James, now the that. In the New York of the James. Ooh, so, oh, my goodness. That's the past one. OK. okay. Um, I just got a reference to a Lawrence or a Larry. So this is good to keep in mind. <laughs> I'm referencing it. It's coming through. And it's, it's, there's a, <laughs> I like Lawrence's. I, I, I like it. But keep your eyes peeled. As far as relationships go, I don't see you single, ultimately. I don't see you alone, ultimately. I do see you in a relationship, ultimately. But right now is more so about career. And mm -hmm. that's not a bad thing. That's You're an right. awesome thing. So, You're absolutely right. When people ask me about their love life, the reality is, is that I generally will just see small details about their future partners, which to me, I think is a good thing. I think that part of the fun of developing a relationship is the not knowing, developing your own bonds and your own connections with someone that is authentically yours, as opposed to just trying to seek out a person because a psychic says so. Yeah, let's see what this would be. Unfortunately, someone passed away of, a, of cancer. Be on mom's side. Oh, mama. Um, there is a reference to uh, Will, William or Willie. There's a reference to Will, Willie, or some form of like a, a connection there. But that would be on mom's on okay. mom's side. So wherever that connection would be, that's where we'd see. Oh, it. that's my mom's. F okay. Who who would that? Boyfriend. Be? What's his name? It's William. William. Okay. Yes. That and he passed. And he passed. A cancer. Okay. He's showing me that he didn't want there to be any upsetness about how this cancer went, because he's saying that the timing of it when he was initially going through it in the very beginning portion, that the way that this was handled wasn't handled properly. Yeah, he didn't tell nobody. Exactly. And he's acknowledging that this was something that he was frightened of, something that he was scared about. He oh. wasn't a fan of doctors, but he's acknowledging the way this comes across that almost like nothing could have been done even if I said it. And this is what's strange in the way that comes across. From his perspective, he's apologetic, but not wanting there to be any any blame or upsetness about how this was handled, because that's just how he handled things. That's just how he handled things. Could you let him know something? Yep. Are we still mad at him for that? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Just Understandably. You channel that, that yeah. he could have told us. It was no. just a total shock, and it changed yeah. everybody's life. And yes. so he should have told us so we could have gave him the love that he deserved. Exactly, exactly. Tell him that. He just feels like, from his perspective, it's like the way he handled it. He was it. always stubborn like yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. And But honestly, I think a lot of that was rooted in fear. I think, I think it really was on some level. Uh, I guess. Yeah. I it just didn't like it, and my mom didn't like it, so. Tyler, you know, he helped me to understand why it happened, why William did what he did, you know, being a man and he thought he could handle it and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just happy that, you know, I got that closure because sometimes when people die, you know, it's important to tell people that you're sick. You 
you know? You miss these people. And uh, I just, I miss them all, but it was nice to hear from them. This was like eye-opening, seriously. Good, good. Seriously. Well, I'm seriously, sincerely always here, anytime. You are authentic. Thank you. Because I didn't say anything to you. Thank Absolutely. you for this time. This has been a great afternoon. In this reading, this really was an opening of communication. These were things that in life weren't talked about, but in death they did feel comfortable discussing and really showed that they aren't that different from how they were in life, except their perspective did broaden and they did have a deeper understanding. Oh my goodness, oh, thank you so much, Tyler. You're so sweet. Oh, thank you. I feel the energy is so positive oh, good. and everything. Absolutely. You know, Tyler made me fearless. There were questions that I had about my family that, um, you know, were just lingering. And he gave me some insight, which is what I needed. He's the real deal. I will say that, because he told me too many things that people did not know. Nobody knew. I know he helped me a lot today. You take All care, right. right? Have a great rest of your day. All right. Thank you. It's been great to have the family reunion. A little crying. I'm OK. Now I'm going to go have me my own glass of wine. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.